Before this video begins, I would just like to quickly mention that I do currently have a Mermaid Halo 2021 giveaway going on right now and it only takes a few minutes to enter, the rules are really really simple and the video for that for you to enter will be linked down in the description down below. I really hope you guys enter because it is a free Halo and it ends when I hit 92,000 subscribers. I'm also going to be doing giveaways at every single thousand subscriber all the way up to 100k so make sure to stay tuned for that and anyways let's get on with the video hi everyone and welcome to my channel i'm real sophie and i post real high videos on my channel whenever i have time to in today's video i'm going to be doing a little fun challenge or investigation to see which farming method is the best and I'm going to be testing out three different farming methods, all very different from each other. And for 10 minutes, I'm going to go around doing whatever that method is and seeing how many diamonds I can collect. And I'm going to just kind of test to see how efficient this diamond farming method is in the short term and which one is the best for you to use. So before we get started, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and let's begin. So the three methods I'm going to be using are basically the first one. I'm going to go around Enchantix High collecting as many diamonds as I can for 10 minutes. The second one is I'm going to join Classic Royal High and I'm just going to do the classes and that's it and then the third one is going into new royal high school doing the classes but also going around the map and collecting diamonds and all of these will be for 10 minutes each from when i first join into that realm so let's get started with the first method which is enchantix high and enchantix high is going to be removed soon so i'm not sure how long this will be around anyway let's get into it so before I press visit, I'm going to set a timer for 10 minutes and I will start this timer as soon as I join the round. All right, so first of all, we got the bubbles, which is quite lucky. So we got a few extra diamonds and we started at, you know what, I forgot. So I'll just calculate it at the end. So you choose any dorm and now all we've got to do is just go around for 10 minutes collecting the diamonds and I'll do a really quick time lapse for this process. So I'll see you guys in 10 minutes. So that it's not boring and you're just listening to music, I'm going to talk a little bit about how this method works and why people use it. So Enchantix High has been around since the very start and a lot of people go there to role play but sometimes you can go to enchantix high to run around the map and collect diamonds so that is what i'm doing in this method and i think it's not very good but it is okay if you're only trying to get a certain amount of diamonds and you need to get it quickly because it doesn't use the xp system where you level up and i think that if you're like only trying to get a few diamonds then yeah you could probably use this but i'd recommend the other methods so i think that enchanted tie is going to be removed soon i actually have a video on when we first found out that it was going to be removed and it's being removed because new world high school is coming and they just want to be a little bit more original because enchanted high is originally based off the winx club so that's why they're going to be removing it from the game. A lot of people had some really good memories in this round and I think that's really good. I'm definitely going to make a video on saying goodbye to the realm once it comes or once the time comes or it gets removed. So that is something. Collecting diamonds can kind of be boring. So if you just listen to music or watch a movie while you're doing it, then it becomes a little less boring which is what I did. I started listening to music while doing this and the time passes by quicker than you'd think. 
Having the faster flight game pass might also help because you can fly around more. So if you do already have it and you want to get more use out of it, then yeah, I think you could probably make use of this method. I do have it, but it didn't really make much difference. You still have to wait a little bit for the diamonds to respawn in. And I think without the flighter game, the faster flight game pass, you'd still get around the same amount of diamonds, maybe just a little bit less. Oh, and I also have all of the multipliers, so if you don't have all the multipliers, it is a bit harder. But I think that having all the multipliers on all of these, you can kind of see the difference between how much you get. So that's why I did all of this with the multipliers. I definitely recommend getting the diamond multipliers because they do help a lot. And I don't regret getting them at all. I know they are quite expensive, but I would 100% recommend them if you can get it. The same for the faster flight game pass. Okay, so the timer is about to go off soon and then we will do the next farming method. Okay, so the timer is up. I'm going to calculate how many diamonds I managed to earn and then we will do the next method. So the timer will start when I join in to Classic Girl High and I'm just going to wait around and do the classes and see if I can level up in 10 minutes. So while I'm waiting, I'm going to get my books and just wait around for a while for the classes to begin. So I remember that I had to wait about five minutes out of the 10 minutes just for the first class to start and i think that if i did the if i started from when the first class actually started for the timer then i might have gotten some more xp but classic roll high is basically the only thing you can do is level up for xp so eventually the music class started i went to music class you don't really do anything I spent most of the time waiting around so there was a lot of waiting in this method and I think that's good if you want to just watch a movie while doing it because there is definitely loads of waiting. And then I also accidentally missed the chemistry class. I think I just forgot that I was waiting and got distracted by something but then I I did manage to not have to wait too long, I only had to wait like 20 seconds for the next class to begin. And then the next class was a computer class, so you just type everything, really simple, really basic, that's all you do. And I managed to level up once in these 10 minutes, but I did have quite a lot of XP to begin with, so I think that kind of played into the fact that I got only got the diamonds for leveling up. So I ended up getting 1,800 diamonds from just the leveling up part of this method. So honestly, I don't really think this is a good method at all unless you are just relaxing and want to farm for levels. And the timer is up just as PE class was about to start. I think that this method is kind of different because you have 10 minutes and the 10 minutes includes the start which is wasting five minutes but if it didn't it might have had different results so again as soon as i join the round the timer will begin and let's get started okay so i think that this method has like two things in one so you collect diamonds and then you do the levels by completing the classes and that is like the best because in this round you can kind of like do two things at once and get diamonds while also getting xp so in enchantix you could only get diamonds in classic you could only get xp but in royal high school you can get xp and diamonds so you get both which is yay so here i am just going around collecting the diamonds before class starts and then i just you know, collect diamonds, it's basically the same as Enchantix High. You just go around and then you do the classes. The classes are really simple in New Royal High. There's lots of glitches to cheat on them. And you can also, if you finish early, you can go around and collect diamonds while you're waiting, which is what I decided to do. So I think that this is probably gonna be the best 
diamond farming method and it's the last one too which is great there is a lot of places to collect diamonds from there's lots of fun classes so here i'm doing english i've done this english class millions of times so i could just complete it really really quickly and then I'm back to collecting diamonds so yeah this method is like probably the best which you can already tell hopefully everyone knows it's the best because it is something and that i didn't realize until i made this video that is it it's actually the best but yeah anyway the timer is about to go off so let's see the overall results okay and the timer is up i'm going to calculate how many diamonds i got and then we will do the results okay so now let's take a quick look at the results i'm not going to spend too much time on this but for enchanting's high and i ended up getting a total of 1900 diamonds rounded and then in classic world high i got 1800 which was only from a level up and in new world high school i didn't level up but i got 2202 diamonds and if i had leveled up i would have gotten more so overall i think it's pretty obvious that new world high school is the best method the best realm to diamond farming that is what we found out from this little investigation thank you so so much for watching i spent a lot of time on this video and editing it so if you did enjoy it make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i will see you guys again soon bye Strawberry